hello and welcome back to my channel once again and today's tutorial we shall be looking at the ratio and proportion um, I have had a few requests to make videos on this topic especially regarding to the principle if more less divide and if less more divide so this is what we're covering in this video so stay tuned till the end now when is the idea use when do we use the idea of if more less divide if less more divide so this principle which is also known as that is if less more divide so it's a general form if more less device if less more device which is we also refer to as if more less divide so here yes, there's no x if less more divide it's an idea that is used in solving problem that includes ratio and proportion okay so we shall look at it in action with some examples but what i want you to note is that this best work when you are dealing with direct proportions when you are dealing with direct proportions it's best work for you okay so let's take one way and see how is the idea used how do we use this idea how how okay and like i said the idea is used when you are dealing with what direct proportion this is an example it takes a man two hours to walk a distance of 10 miles at the same rate how long would it take him to walk a distance of 20 miles now look in at our question is it at the same rate so when you see the, at the same rate it tells you that you are dealing with direct proportions direct proportions are the proportions in, when the quantity increase it affects the adverse the, the, the one is following with let me put it that way so if the man takes two hours to walk two kilometers when the kilometers has increased to four kilometers then he's going to use four hours it is direct proportion once the quantity increase the supply will also what be higher let me use the demand and supply for instance once demand increases or price increases supply will also increase so they are all they are hand in hand once demand or the price of a commodity increase supply will definitely also what increase now in the other way around when you are dealing with the demand curve when price rises demand falls when price rise demand falls though that place is indirect but the direct proportion we are talking about is once the quantity increase then it means that there's an increase in price right so in the same vein we are going to apply that idea over here that's the direct proportion now let's solve this question this is a problem involving direct proportion like we said earlier so if the man walks at the same rate then the longer the distance the longer it will take him to cover it right the longer the distance the longer it will take him to cover it in fact the amount of time it takes to walk a distance doubles when that distance is doubled when it takes the man two hours to walk 10 miles it will take him twice that amount of time to walk 20 miles so that is it will take him four hours to walk 20 miles that is what refers to direct proportions if it takes him two hours to walk 10 miles then definitely 20 miles will take him four hours but then let's apply the if more let's divide if less more divide idea to solve this question okay so the principle basically state that we should ask ourselves is the quantity we are looking for more than or less than the one we already know are you getting that for instance in the question above we are looking for the amount of time it would take to walk a distance of 20 miles but we already know the amount of time it would take to walk 10 miles once i know the time it will take to walk 10 miles 
and then I'm looking for the time it will take to walk 20 miles. You now wait between the 20 and the 10. So we have to ask, is the amount of time it would take to walk 20 miles more than or less than the amount of time it would take to walk 10 miles? So definitely, once 10 miles, he uses some amount of time, it means that when he's walking 20 miles, the time was what? Increased, so it means they need more. Okay, so it needs more. So you have to compare this, ask yourself the questions. If the man uses two hours to walk 10 miles, then I'm looking for the hour, number of hours he will use to walk 20 miles. Will it be more hours or less hours? That is where the concept, you have to first look at whether it is more or less before you now know which one to divide with, okay? So the answer to the question is that the amount of time it would take to walk 20 miles is more than the amount of time it would take to walk 10 miles, definitely. So using the if more, less divide, if less, more divide idea, since the amount of time it would take to walk 20 miles is more, okay? You need more time to walk 20 miles, it's more. So we would divide it by less. So we would take the 20 divided by what? 10. We would take 20 divided by what? 10. Because the lesser the quantity, the lesser you are going to what? Get the distance or the time covered. So we have to now multiply that by what? The, res the, the number of hours that the, he used to work 10 miles, which is 2, to get the time we want for 20. Okay? So we realize that we have 20 divided by 10. Multiplying by two hours. Now take this, the 20 miles, the unit here must be the same. 20 miles, miles, the miles must be the same. If you are dealing with hours here, then hours here will also be what? The same, okay? You could also do the adverse and you will still get the same answer. So there's no problem in this. Now, when I divide 20 by 10, I get two. So two times two will give me four hours so it needs four hours just like the logic we have used to get the answer as what four now what i want to echo more is that you first have to ask yourself the quantity i'm looking for is it more than what i already know if it is more than what i already know then we say what well, let's divide but if the quantity I'm looking for will be less than the one I already know, then we say what more divide. So if once again the 20 miles will definitely what need more hours. So we say what less divide. Okay, that is for this one. Let's take the next one and we we'll look at how we can get it. And this one is the inverse proportion. The inverse proportion is more like the indirect proportion. But let's see how we can use the if more less divide to solve this but once again for the inverse one it doesn't work for all of them so risky proportions some of them you can use this formula but for all direct proportions, you can use it to work and get the result so don't go and use it to work for some questions that you might not get the answer right but for all direct proportions i'm sure you definitely get the answer correct now, this example is saying that it takes eight days for five mansions to build a wall. Mission, sorry. How many days would it take for missions to build the wall? Working at the same rate. So, working at the same rate. Now, the same rate here also includes that the thing is more of what? A direct proportion. It's still going like that once the quantity of number of missions increase then it means they will use less days just it's like the in um, the inverse so here we are dealing with working just like i use the example of the demand once price increase demand decrease but it's, it's more of like what um the direct once this one price increase the demand decrease okay now using the if more less divide if less more divide principle we have to ask would four missions 
use more or less time than five missions to build the wall? The answer to that question is that four missions would use more time, definitely, to build the wall. If the time for four missions would use is more, then we have to divide by less. Four missions in this case and multiply the result by the time given to get the answer. So doing so gives five missions over four because in our questions we, we know that eight days is used by five missions and then we are looking for how many days four missions we use. Definitely four missions we use more days. So we divide by less. Okay? So that's why we take the 5 divided by 4. 4 is less than 5. And now multiply by the number of days you already know. Times 10 is 8. And this is equal to 5 times 2. That is 8 divided 4 will give me 2. So now take 2. So 5 times 2. And you are going to get the result as 10. You could also use the calculator and you punch inside and your answer is there for you. All right, you can pause the video and replay it a number of times until you get the understanding. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. More to the point, hit the notification button so that um, when I release any other new video, you will not be left out. Thank you for doing that. The perimeter of a triangle is 60 feet. If the sides are in the ratio 3, 4, 5 is to 5, find the length of each of the triangles. So this is another ratio in proportion, and but this can be worked in different ways. But we want, at the end of the day, we want to know how we can use the if more, less divide, if less, more divide principle in solving this. But before that, I will give you a first um way of going about it. The first way of going about it is that we let x 3x to be the number of the length of the first side, 4x to be the length of the second side, and 5x the length of the third side. Then we know the perimeter from the question that the total perimeter is 60 feet. Therefore, when I sum all this, because I, the length of the first one is 3x, four, the second one is 4x, the third one is 5x. So when I sum all of them, it should give me 60, because the total um, perimeter of the triangle is 60, okay? So, and you go to 60. Now, when I sum 3 plus 4 plus 5, I have 12x. And this is equal to 60. Divide through by 12. Because we are looking for x. So we divide through by 12. And x is equal to 5. Now I know my x will be 5. I can easily get the other length. So take. Replace the, three, the, the x by 5. So 3 times 5 will give me 15. Then 4 times 5 will give me 20. 5 times 5 will give me 25. So therefore the length of. The length of the three sides are 15 feet, 20 feet, and then 25 feet, respectively. Did you get that? So, it's very easy to do this, right? But let's now look at how we can use the if more, less divide principle to deal with this situation. We have the alternative of going about it. Now, let's use the if more principle. Like I said, the, this idea will help us a lot. So, the per perimeter of the triangle is giving us 60 feet. So we have to find, you first find the total ratio, which is 12. After getting the total ratio, we want to get to know that from our principle, the smaller or the lesser the ratio, you, the more you divide. So all the ratios we are dealing with over, over here are all less than what? 12. 3 is less than 12, 4 is less than 12, and then 5 is less than 12, which is the total ratio. Okay. So it means that all of them will be dealing with if more, less divide. So we see, we see what we can do. But the ratio 3 is less than 12, like I said. Therefore, more divide. That's why we have to divide it by what? 12. 
let's divide this less so we divide by the, the bigger one so we take 3 over 12 then 3 times 5 which is equal to 15 now I take 4 over 12 because 4 is also less than 12 so 4 divided by 12 times um, 60 which is also equal to 4 times 5 that is this divide this um, 60 divide 12 give me 4 times so it will give me 5 times 4 that will give you 20 I want to know this very well now we take this also 5 times sorry this is 5 not 4 that was a typo error let me get a pen ink and punch it there this is this is 5 sorry so 60 divided by 12 will give me 5 5 times 5 that will give me 25 okay so we are saying that if less more divide if more less divide so in our quantity all of them are less than 12 so we divide by them and then 15 20 and 25 are the respective sides and when you sum them all of them up you must get what the 60 that they are looking for right the 60 feet so we take 25 plus 15 15 here plus 20 will give me 35 plus this that will give me 60 and which means your answer is correct thank you for watching and please don't just come and watch and leave try to subscribe help the channel to grow share 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 to bless a friend please i need your favor just subscribe and hit the notification button and and, and comment so that i can at least give you more of such videos and then more inspiration in the field of mathematics if you have any request or on any of the topics you can let me know thank you and have a nice time